Hello and welcome to IT Expert Systems video on Power BI Overview. This is part one. So let's look at what is Power BI. Power BI is a name given by Microsoft Systems to its suite of business analytics tools that provide connections to different data sources as well as capability to analyze that data and share the insights throughout an organization. So why use a tool like Power BI? Well, because you can combine multiple data sources, it provides powerful analytics capabilities, it has impressive dashboarding capability, it improves communication and collaboration within your team or within an organization, it gives you interactive reports and charts, it provides ability to do forecasting, it can give you actionable insights, and integrate with the latest uh, artificial intelligence or machine language technologies that are coming along. And you can do R Python scripting, the technical languages that are available for data analytics. Power BI and tools like Power BI are useful for various kinds of professions out in, in the world nowadays. In the, in the field of IT, ex, IT services, you have project portfolio managers, who can benefit from a powerful business intelligence tool. You have business and data anal uh, analysts who can analyze business world data. You have developers and database administrators who do the nitty gritty engineering uh, work of the various systems. You have IT services people who provide information technology uh, services. You have consumers of the end user reports who will make use of the data that's presented to them. You have data scientists who will do deep and uh, who, who do the deep analytics of data and how they should be designed and structured and maintained. And finally, you have marketing salespeople who will go out and use all that information to uh, increase profitability. Profitability. Now, it's been shown that uh, people who know Power BI and have about three plus years of experience can make around eighty thousand dollars salary in a medium sized city. Here we see how Power BI can help with uh, features such as proactively integrating new technologies for more advanced analytics, analytics. And it has PowerFlow, PowerApps, machine learning capabilities to help integrate. It can provide support for desktop and cloud platform and gateways and administration support and expertise. It can create DAX functions or expressions. DAX is data analytics expression. It can prepare data modeling for drill down reporting. It can help clean up your data, the tools like the Power Query Editor, as well as produce and enhance reports and dashboards. Microsoft's Power BI has several components. Some of the key ones are listed here, like the Power BI Desktop, the BI Query, BI View, Power BI Pivot Table, Power BI Map, Power BI Service Report Service, Power BI Q&A, and Power BI Management Gateway. Each of these help make it into a very robust, robust system. This picture shows the overall Power BI's end-to-end -end architecture. As you know, the cloud technologies are the way to go these days with the backend server farms and data farms available. So you can see that the Power BI actually utilizes multiple sources of data listed some of the examples here listed like the SQL Server and so forth. There are hundreds of data sources available. All of those can be connected to a, a cloud platform. You can publish, someone can publish some information that goes to the cloud platform and then the end users can access it. So this is essentially the end-to-end -end architecture that Power BI utilizes. There are essentially two types of users for Power BI and a tool or business intelligence tool like this. There's a business user and the technical user. The business us user is typically the end user who will utilize a report and the data and the insights that that information provides to make good actionable decisions. The technical users would be the power users who end up creating the reports who do the data analysis and do the statistical analysis and put it together to provide a good visualization and a picture of the overall data. 
Uh, the various uh, computer and information systems in use out there have produced lots and lots of data. And all of that data has inherent business intelligence that can be utilized for good business purposes. Some of the more useful use cases are listed over here from resource management and manufacturing, supply chain, and so on. But they are far more than just what's listed over here. As we've seen all along, a tool like Microsoft's Power BI can make use of data sources from various different kinds of technical systems out there. Excel being the most uh, common in use in all, all kinds of offices and organizations. It can take a JSON, XML file, PDF file, or, or Microsoft Access database file. It can take comma separated values. It supports various da databases like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and uh, other uh, formatting like REST and S3, which is a cloud, Amazon cloud uh, storage system, HDFS, which is the Hadoop big data systems, so as we see, all of these can be data sources that Power BI can utilize. Because uh, Power BI is another Microsoft tool and Microsoft tools Office Suite in particular has been in use throughout the world in for a very long time. So a lot of the terms used are quite familiar. Terms like visu visualization, data sets, reports, dashboards, tiles, filters. Anyone who has used Microsoft will be familiar and they can easily pick up these terms in Power BI. A key feature of business intelligence tools is the ability to create dashboard. A dashboard shows a one page summary with key details. It normally includes multiple tiles or visuals all in one location. It can show you what the KPI are the key performance indexes, they're typically shown on the top, and then it can contain various charts or visuals that can be shown in the middle. And then the matri matrix report with custom formatting are typically shown towards the bottom. Now you can also have multiple dashboard pages for your system in order to make one comprehensive report. Over here, we see just a preview of the various steps one can take in order to produce some intelligent reporting out of Power BI. So as, as shown in this diagram, you would take the desktop, plug it to your data source, uh, massage and transform the data a little bit, decide what kind of visuals you want to use and drag and drop easily to create the presentation that you prefer, save your file and then publish it for consumption. So this is a brief overview of the Microsoft Power BI tool. Reach out to IT Expert Systems where we provide in-depth classes on expert training in various information technology tools, including Power BI.